All right, guys, I got some more done on the water methanol um, setup. So I built the tank, I put the pump in, I put all the plumbing to the pump. Um, then I leak tested everything with a negative 20 degree uh, washer fluid. I'll run this till it runs out and then I'll be running snow performance juice. I just found it easier and cheaper to leak test a tank with $10 of fluid versus $40 of fluid. Um, so I have had people ask me about fail safes and what I tend to do about that. The answer is I don't have any fail safes other than having the solenoid in line with the, the feed line. Um, so basically what's gonna happen is my, my controller is gonna activate the pump. My pump will turn on and it'll activate the solenoid. And during that injection cycle, the solenoid will be open. Once the, so once the injection cycle ends, the solenoid will close and it will prevent gravity feeding, siphoning of the methanol into the engine during the time that it's off or the time that it's running but not under boost. So it should prevent any of that bogging experience that people get from uh, running methanol without a solenoid. Um, so I'm going to be running a solenoid and I will not be tuning. I will not be tuning for water methanol. And the reason I'm not going to tune for is I don't want my tunes to be dependent on water methanol. I don't want it to, I don't want to add fuel via m methanol. Um, I'm just using it simply for cooling, cooling, cleansing, and uh, NOx suppression. I'm running a very small amount, very small amount you don't need to tune for. Um, I, so I will not be tuning for it at all. I'm, gonna, I'm running a seven gallon per hour nozzle, which is good for about 400 wheel horsepower or 400 crank horsepower. So given that I'm about 354-ish on 93, um, that 400 nozzle should be uh, pretty good for the setup. So uh, stay tuned guys, and uh, we're gonna be finishing up the finishing up this install. So I have the tank mounted, or not mounted right now, it's just got some Velcro on the bottom so it doesn't slide around. I'm gonna be making a base plate and then having them laser cut, and then I'll offer them for sale as well for people who wanna put like surge tanks, methanol, nitrous, or whatever in the trunk, but don't have a mounting plate. I'm gonna be producing a mounting plate that's gonna fit the corners of these trunks. So I have that done, and then we'll walk up here car's really dirty right now but i'm going to be sending it out to, de to get detailed real soon so i have this is going to be the 12 volt line that's going to tap into this fuse panel right here this is the boost reference source this is the solenoid power line and that's the an4 feed line so i have to run those up and through the grommet in the firewall up here and then the system will be uh, pretty much operational um, I won't be able to run it until my custom ETS charge pipe gets here. Um, so stay tuned, comment, like, subscribe, and until next time, guys, peace.